So, three days ago, Citizen TV did a feature on a very disturbing trend in the Kenyan car industry. I thought it's really wise to actually come here and uh, comment on what is going on. So this is about the theft of cars. In 2023, Kenyans are really losing a lot of their cars through theft. And it's something that we need to address. So if you're planning to buy a car or you own a car already, you need to listen pensively and keenly. Now, I was looking at the statistics, sorry for the noise. I was looking at the statistics back in 2020, 2021. Kenya was at 0.6 against uh, 100,000. What it means is that in 2020, if you collected 100,000 people who owned cars in Kenya and you asked them how many of you have lost their cars through theft, the probability was low. But that number has actually gone up in 2023. What's happening? In this video, I'll be sharing with you some of the preventive measures that you can put in place to reduce the chances of your car being stolen or increase what we call the chances of recovering this car after it has been stolen. But before we get to that part of the video, I want you to take minutes to watch this feature that was uh, done by Citizen TV. We'll be learning from this video because we are going to see some mistakes that the car owners in this particular video have maybe committed so that they put themselves at a very bad place. So take a minute and before that please, like the video so that other people can also get to watch this video. Yeah. Onto a story of a vehicle theft syndicate in Nairobi. Residents in different parts of Nairobi area have raised an alarm over escalating car theft cases targeting specific vehicles. Now, victims of the syndicate speaking to Citizen TV reveal that what appears to be a coordinated scheme involving several gang members. Our very own Ben Kirui reports on how the gangs break into the vehicles while parked in estates and complete with security features before vanishing into thin air. There is my car. There is my car at uh, Sunday, 6.30. 6.30 a.m. Sunday last week in Utawala's Nairobi area, CCTV cameras capture a vehicle of a Toyota Axio model, registration number KDD969T, being driven away by a known person or persons. The owner, Joseph Magero, raised an alarm of car theft when he woke up to find his car gone. He had parked it right here outside his apartment at 11 p.m. Saturday. So waking up on, on Sunday, at around 10 a.m. to go to church, the car was missing. A different CCTV camera on a neighboring building captures the vehicle being driven at high speed. The time is 6.32 a.m., two minutes after it was captured leaving the parking lot. Before joining this road heading to Choka area of Kayole, that was the last time it was seen. The tracking device installed had been disabled. It was a tracker. Like the tracker it was disabled. By the, by the time we were checking, it was already disabled. Joseph reported the matter at Kayole police station, hoping the investigators will help track and recover his car in vain. For industry, a, a few kilometers away in the neighboring area of Jakaranda in Buruburu sub-county is a different victim, same story. Dennis Atuya narrates how he woke up on Friday last week to an empty parking lot. His Toyota Axio registration number KDK635T was missing. Nikuwa ni mepaka hapa, hapa uwa ndo naisi kwa hii plot, gari uwa napaka hapa kina wakati, na pia kuna security. Almost a week since he reported the matter at the Buruburu police station, Dennis is yet to hear a word from the DCI. Nikuwa na initiate the process with the insurance company, wani ni peso ndo naanza kuengage, but so far from the police, but what has puzzled many is how the syndicate accessed the vehicles, tamper with the ignition, disabled the tracking system before making away with the cars. According to Sikika, a safety campaign organization creating awareness on road safety, cases of two to three stolen cars are reported daily. Recovering the stolen vehicles has seemingly become a toll order for the police. Jeremiah Nyakweba a resident of Donom area lost his Toyota Fielder in March this year. It was never recovered. Did you go up up to parking at Donom? Fielder, case is said, 295Q. For the day, immediately in the end, I reported police at around 3 a.m. Since then, there's nothing. No communication. So, 
I'm on my own. The car theft syndicate continues to terrorize the city with each stolen vehicle seemingly vanishing into thin air, leaving behind frustrated owners. Police officers on their part have been unable to provide a satisfactory explanation regarding the criminal activity. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi. I believe you watched the video. And uh, from the video, we can learn something. That the people who steal cars in Kenya today, they are targeting specific models of cars. And that is, this is where I want us to be open-minded. If we watch the video fully, you've noticed that some of the common cars that they steal are Toyota Axio, Toyota Fielder. Other models that are being stolen the most also include Toyota Alio, Toyota Premium, Toyota Probox, and any other Toyota. But I don't want us to get it twisted. It doesn't mean that if we have not mentioned your model, the car model that you drive, now that you are immune to theft. No. Your car can still be stolen. Ideally, any car can be stolen. So whether you own a Toyota model or you own a Nissan or you own a Mazda, there's need to step up, put up an extra layer of security for your car. So these are the measures that we can actually uh, put in place. And we'll borrow from that video that we've watched. Number one is that when you're going to buy such models of cars, please ensure that every time you put that car on what we call comprehensive insurance cover. A channel number a third party. Majority would run on third party. Chances of recovering these cars when they have been stolen is normally very low. So comprehensive insurance cover will actually help you compensate you for the car that you've lost. Mark that. Uh, number two is that uh, you want to ensure that uh, uh, you install the tracking devices, alarms and cutouts. And I want you to listen pensively in this. Uh, the tracking issue, installation of trackers in your car is a very controversial uh, measure of security because many Kenyans have said, magari. Who comes back and steals the car? The, they think it's the tracking guys. I don't want to eliminate the truth in that because there's some truth in that statement. So you must ensure that you know who is installing the tracker, like the credibility of that company. On the tracking again, I can advise that you install at least two trackers in your car. Why? Because when these guys come, we've seen in that video that even the car that was stolen had a tracking device. I'm not saying the owner did not install more than one tracker. But when these guy, guys come around to steal your car, they first jump the tracking system. So then you cannot track your car. So the advantage of having more than one tracker in your car is more to actually eliminate the theft in totality, but to increase the chances of at least tracking this car whenever it is stolen. So they come and they jump the other tracker, so then you cannot track that car. So place those trackers in different positions so then you can actually increase your chances of tracking the car whenever it's stolen. Do your alarms and cutouts, please, if there is need to do that, just to boost an extra layer of security. The third measure that you should take in place is what we call now, before I tell you what you do, like you need to understand that the cars that we drive nowadays, most of these cars are killer sentry cars. By killer sentry, it may mean two things. One that for you to start your car, which is a keyless entry, you don't need to physically push the key into the ignition uh, switch. You just have to press the brake pedal, then push your finger on the start switch there, then the car would start. It may also mean that for you to access the car from outside, then you don't have to physically put the key there to open the door. So those are, that is what we call maybe keyless entry. Now, with the keyless entry, it comes mostly, most of the cars which are keyless entry come with this particular key fob. So it may come one or two depending on. This is a very powerful tool because this particular key fob is in constant, constant communication with the car. That is why you are able to actually open your car from a distance with this car. That is why your car will only start when this key fob is within a certain radius from your car. So. When thieves want to steal your car, what they will do is that they will clone a similar key like this, this phobia. They will clone it. 
So for them to access the car without your key, they will have to read uh, the signals from this key so that they can trick your car into believing that the signal that is from their key is now from this key. Now for you to avoid this, uh, because these guys are really advancing so fast, there's something that you can buy so that you can prevent them from reading the signals from your key. It is called the Faraday's porch. The Faraday's porch is just, I think if you sat in a physics class, there was this scientist who was called uh, Michael Faraday. Uh, he, he designed some rule for electromagnetic physics. So what, what, what that porch does is that it creates like a electromagnetic shield around this key fob. So when these guys come around, they will not be able to read the signals from this particular key. So I checked online. Uh, the Faraday's porch will cost you between 2,000 to 3,000 Kenyan shillings. So you can get it online, you can order it online. It's just to boost like uh, an extra layer of security. So please try and do that. But I know there are thieves who can bypass that. Now, there's another one. Something that we also learned from that video that you watched from Citizen TV is the issue of where do you park? Where do you park? Where do you park your car? I don't know who to blame. I don't know whether it's the landlord or the owner of the car. But you find that when you go to this, you know, we call them middle class, the people, they are working, they have a job, they have a car, they are renting. But Unapata, most of the cars are parked outside, just in the open place. You may have the guard there watching your cars, but those cars are so many. So the parking place really matters a lot when it comes to uh, the vulnerability of yourself being stolen from by these guys. I want us to be clear. So step up in terms of be choosy on where you park your car. And even if it means you are going to sleep in your house and you're parking your car somewhere else that is safer, please do it. I was even looking at the case of Japan. You know, the government cannot even allow you, the government of Japan, cannot allow you to buy a car without producing the certificate of parking. And they are saying the parking must be located within two kilometers from where you stay. So you can't buy a car without a parking space. So we've seen in that video that those cars where they were parked, they were really exposed. So that is something that you can avoid. And uh, another thing is that uh, the guys who steal these cars, they do what is called your behavioral pattern study. Like they know ruthless focus, Yes, is very frequent on this part, at this particular joint, and uh, this is where it comes the most. Even at your car wash, you need to be very, very choosy. Don't be constant washing your car at the same place, because people who steal your car, they don't just wake up and say, we are going to steal from ruthless. They don't do that. They are so sure that when they tap on you, they must steal from you. It's not a one-day thing. They have to study your pattern. Uh, another thing here is that uh, there are other ways, actually seeing one here, that uh, there is what we call the steering lock. You can buy and put your steering lock there so that they don't actually tamper with it. But these are getting smarter and smarter. There is gear locking, there is the steering wheel locking. You can do that. Or Somebody was suggesting, because I was looking at it, most of the cars that come with the uh, keyless, uh, the, the, the what, uh, the keyless entry, it means that you can disable that feature so that your car stops transmitting signals with, to the key until you enable it. But this functionality is not available in quite a number of cars. So if your car has that functionality, you can disable the, the, the keyless entry system, then you can be safer a little bit. Now, another thing here that really came out is that uh, these are extra methods that can save you because people are even suggesting that uh, if you can be having a small phone, feature phone, in your car, like a Kabambe, you just place it somewhere in the car, you keep it on a full charge every time. So then, when they steal it, at least you can track your car in case they interfere with the tracking. But the challenge with that also is that uh, these guys, they come and jam the system, so you won't be able to detect. But you, you just have to try different things so that you can be at a good place in terms of the security. Now, 
there are some weird ways that people have suggested that we can really prevent these guys from stealing. Mtu anasema ngoa miguu, weka ndani ukilala, ngoa battery, ukienda kulala. But I think it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for you kungoa miguu, kungoa battery every time so that in the morning when you're going to work, you go and put them again on the car. I think that is a lot of work to do. Now, the last way that I want to really suggest is that uh, uh, the things of uh, what we call alternatives now. You can avoid or you can reduce these problems by buying alternatives to these cars. And that is one thing. You know, we are not against the brand, but the idea is Toyota is being stolen the most in this country. And people even have Nissan Notes, Nissan models. These people can even sleep. Nobody steals them. Mazda. But you see, what I'm seeing is that even if we shift our loyalty as a country towards Nissan, towards Mazda, where the demand is, that is where the thieves will actually come to. So kama kuna demand for spares of Mazda, they will start stealing Mazda. The main reason why still, they steal Toyota the most in this country is because they are the majority in terms of majority of Kenyans own Toyotas. And that is one thing that you need to understand. So I think it's like saying that buying a Toyota in Kenya is like dating uh, a curvy woman. Every man is actually uh, trying to hit. So you need to be careful. That is in quotes, honestly. But the security of your car starts with you. So try and actually incorporate some of the things that we are saying here so that you can experience just a good time with your car. I just want to wish you well in your journey to own a car. You know, I really feel bad because as much as people are really stealing these cars, things are hard for everyone. Accumulating money to go and buy a car. Then you wake up one morning and your car is nowhere to be seen. Please. And the last thing I was forgetting, I think sharing of cars is also something that you should avoid. Of course, you can trust somebody, but you never know when they're going to maybe do something bad to you in terms of it. So try to be a bit greedy, but in a good way. Don't give out your car. And that's the thing. Last but not least, people are saying, okay, you can buy a manual car. Not everybody can drive a manual car. But if you can drive a manual car, the better, because that reduces the chances by some probability. So I think let us be vigilant, let us be careful, let us just try as much as possible to secure our cars. Because even if you report after your car has been stolen, you will use more money and you won't get your car. Uh, that is the thing. Of course it's good to report, but the quickest way also to recover your car maybe sometimes is just to go on social media and share the information there. But what will really break your heart is that 20 minutes or 30 minutes after your car has been stolen, utapata imekatwa kato. So I just, wanna, I just want to wish you well if you're planning to own any of these cars and please remember to take care. That has been my video and if you found it helpful, kindly subscribe and also share, like this video so that other people can also get to watch this video. See you in the next episode and I wish you well in your journey to own a car in Kenya. Bye. Cheers.